Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool European style rotary desk telephone. This is Chuck and his wife's equipment from Ohio and this is a very unique telephone. The numbers and letters here RTT56A indicates it's a Belgian telephone and we want to go through this unit. It has some issues. The rotary does not want to return so we need to go through that. We also need to remove the dial center card and ring. That was glued in. This telephone was purchased from a company who sells telephones and they sell antique and novelty telephones. So we need to take a look at the rotary dial. We want to go through the rotary, clean, oil, and adjust the rotary. We also want to try to tighten up the finger wheel. That has an issue and sometimes it's just from wear and tear but we'll try to tighten up the finger wheel. Now I want to go ahead and give you a look at the bottom plate. Now these were also known as kettle telephones because they have a handle to pick up the telephone. They're pretty heavy and we want to give you a look at the handset. Very cool telephone. Very unique. We have the cover loose, so we want to show you the telephone itself. And then we have a sticker on the sides. Not sure the video is picking that up. Basically, it's a Belgian telephone, and it says Bell Telephone, MFG Company. That gives you a look at the front. Same wording on the side here. Of course, our handle, once again. That's how it got the nickname, the Kettle Telephone. And we want to show you the inside. Of course, we have our wiring block, our bell, our solenoids, hook switch. This gives you a look at the network. And it has a... A&E dial made in Canada, so the rotary dial is a Canadian A&E dial. Very cool telephone. We're going to go ahead and get a start on this unit. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool European style rotary desk telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this European rotary desk telephone and we want to run through a little bit about what's going on. We're working on the rotary. We're going to clean, oil, and adjust the rotary and we showed earlier in the video that the rotary did not want to return properly on its own. And we're finding a lot of almost like lint, but heavy dust. And it's clogging up the gears. And it's on every one of our Q-tips that we've tried to clean the rotary with at this point. So it almost seems like the company that sold this telephone probably replaced the rotary dial because the inside of the telephone is in very good clean condition but the rotary 
is very dirty. And so that's probably an indication that it's a replacement, which is fine because it's a period replacement and it is from Canada and it's very well parts that they could have used. But another giveaway is the generic straight slotted screws that they're using. They're pretty generic and they're probably not what the original screws would have looked like. And the three washers and screws that you hold in the rotary with, the washers are oversized. So they're not what would have came with this telephone originally. So it's probably a replacement. And it was not cleaned before it was installed in the telephone because the inside of the telephone is very clean, but the rotary is very dirty. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this work. Now, we also want to show the inside of the telephone, the base plate, and we have a schematic. I'm not sure the video is picking that up very well, but there is a schematic on that plate. And it's pretty cool to have that. It's just nice to have the unit in that condition. So we're going to finish all this work up. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool European rotary desk telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're in the middle of the process of repairing this European rotary desk telephone and we want to run through a little bit about what's going on. Now the rotary was cleaned, oiled, and adjusted and we have a nice smooth return on our rotary now and we know our numbers are racking off properly. We also remounted our dial center ring and card. We went through the hook switch, the network, the bell, bell circuit, and our wiring block. We wanted to make sure that all of our connections were proper and that they were tight. We also troubleshooted our handset cord, our transmit, and our receive. We also want to talk about a button that usually is on a European telephone. And this telephone has a little white button right here. And whatever exchange you belong to, and whatever they designed out that button to be, whether it would be to change your exchange or be a signaling indicator to the exchange, whatever they decided that button was going to be in your exchange is how they use that button. So that's basically what the button is for. Now we have one last thing that we want to do. We want to go through our transmitter and receiver and make sure that our connections are tight and that they're cleaned. And I want to show you on the receiver cap, we're just going to go ahead and loosen that and it unscrews like most normal handsets would. But when it comes to the receiver capsule, there's a little notch and you have to make sure that it goes in that notch when you're replacing it or it will not fit properly. The other issue is you're not going to get the transmitter cap off because there's a little hole right here so it doesn't simply screw off. You have to press in the little catch and once that's pressed in you can unlock the transmitter cap And that's how that is removed. Now we have a little spring-loaded catch here. And once that's pushed down, the transmitter will remove. And then we want to show you our transmitter and how it's designed. Normally transmitters are just pressed together. They actually have that locked down with a screw and a nut. And we have, I'm not sure if the video is picking it up, we have 1063 made in Belgium TMC 2047AB. 
So I'm not sure if the video is picking that up, but that's kind of cool. So we're going to finish this work up. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool European rotary desk telephone. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this really cool rotary desk telephone. And basically what we want to do is start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. And when I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. I'm going to go ahead and press the button. You may hear a little bit of a hum. I'm going to release it. I want to press it one more time. And go ahead and release it. And that will be coming from the amplifier. So if you hear during the checkout any kind of a little hum or staticky noise, that is caused by the open amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we want to do is use our analyzer and send a ring cycle. So we'll start that. It's got a really cool ring. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the transmitter. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out. We have transmit and receive. We can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll make that call. We can go ahead and hang up. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll call that number. Hang our handset up. Now that we know that this really cool European rotary desk telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Chuck and his wife, and they can enjoy this really cool telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where they decide to use it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. 
And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.